the Swiss Sports Physiotherapy Association, in cooperation with the International Federation of Sports Physical Therapy and the British Journal of Sports Medicine, organized the first World Congress of Sports Physical Therapy. This important conference took place in Bern, Switzerland, on November 22nd to 21st, 2015, and attracted more than 800 participants from 45 countries worldwide. What's exciting about this conference is we're bringing together people who have solutions because they work in elite teams or they work in the best research settings, and they're all focused on the one thing, what will help us get a player back quickly and safely. We haven't had that before. This is a first time event. The theme of the conference was Return to Play, and it had a stellar lineup of internationally renowned speakers who delivered an impressive update of the scientific and empirical knowledge in this field. RTP decision making is one of the most crucial aspects in sports medicine and physical therapy, and yet one of the most complex ones. Some key areas addressed at the conference were performance-based tests, patient-reported outcomes, load management and overuse problems, mental aspects, and more. I think what's really new in the area of ACL, return to play after ACL injury, is this consideration of the mental aspect of returning to play. So historically, we've really focused on the physical function and me measuring physical uh, function and that's of course very important but we also equally need to consider the athletes mental state and their mental readiness to return to play so my message is really that when we're thinking about returning to play after ACL injury the mind really does matter some high-profile sports PTs and researchers involved with top athletes performing at the highest level of competition shared their expertise with colleagues in the interested audience so in professional sport we really are at that pinch point where evidence-based medicine meets practice-based evidence and it's our job to implement the evidence that the researchers are coming out with and find ways to apply it in our context which deals with the pressures that we face and to get the optimal outcomes for our athletes. Participants and speakers experienced an intense two days conference at the Bern Expo in Bern the capital of Switzerland, traditionally the venue of the Swiss Sports PT Congress. So it's been an honor to be invited to the conference and the conference has been absolutely amazing with the speakers being from all over the world, we're all trying to do the same thing. So as a speaker it's been amazing to see what I'm doing in relation to them and understand where we're all moving forward. It's also been amazing to see all these physios, 850 I think it is here, sitting together listening to the same thing. One of the advantages I think has been that it's been one session at a time that we are all together. So the discussions and things outside will then also continue to promote what we're all really trying to do. So this has been an amazing conference that I hope continues for many, many years. The conference also hosted an international poster competition and the award winner, Ms. Arnlog Wangenstein, presented on stage her groundbreaking research on the role of MRI versus clinical examination in RTP after hamstring injuries. As the president of the Sports Physical Therapy Association in the United States, this conference has been uh, one of the best that I've ever been participated in and that I've been uh, honored to uh, speak at. The RTP conference also represented a milestone in the history of the International Federation of Sports Physical Therapy, which was founded in 2002 and today includes more than 25,000 sports PTs from 24 countries worldwide. The first World Congress of Sports Physical Therapy has really raised the bar and I think IFSPT now has to work with the discussions and the findings from this conference to take the profession further to see what we can do in terms of safe return to play for our athletes. The international speakers were invited to stay an additional day in Bern with the goal to develop a consensus statement on RTP, which will be published by the British Journal of Sports Medicine in 2016. Let's take advantage of this great momentum in sports physiotherapy worldwide with the upcoming Return to Play conference in London 2016 and related workshop, um, the planned BGSM consensus paper, and of course to the second World Conference of Sports Physiotherapy in Belfast, October 2017. Please follow the updates on these conferences on Twitter, BJSM at BJSM underscore BMJ, and Sports Physio at Sports Physio Swiss.